Hello friends, welcome to my new video. I am Jagbir and you are watching JS Industries. So in this video, I am going to show you how to set up a DC to DC converter. So let's begin after this intro. So now I am going to tell you how to calibrate the 24 volt into 5 volt. So come. With So here we have got our PCB, the board and now I am going to show you how to add a DC to DC converter so that it turns on always. So first I have to clean it up and as you can see this is not in a very nice condition. So let me clean it up first. So now I am going to check the uh, the wire which can give me 24 volts and then I am going to convert it to 5 volts using the DC converter. So let's go to the e-bike. So these both wires can provide me 24 volts. So I am going to use them to power my Arduino circuit. So I have cut it this length of wire apart so that I can roll the other wire onto it like this and as you can see we have got one pole of the electricity and now I am going to do another part I need to just take a little bit of this and then tangle it around this and I'm not going to solder it because I know this connection will not break soon so I'm going to tape it up with some insulating tape Actually, I am using masking tape here. You can use any tape. I will prefer you, I will advise you to use the electrical tape because that is made up of rubber and can actually can sustain a lot of temperature. So, uh, let me check how much electricity we are getting here here we have our multimeter running and I am going to just see which one is the how much electricity are we getting we are getting 24 volts which is the ideal amount and now I'm going to use the DC to DC converter and I will mount it so we will need a, a minus screwdriver and here you can see is a blue uh, a screw like thing we have to turn it and you can see on the potentiometer the reading so I am going to turn it anti-clockwise 
and you can see the voltage is decreasing we have to decrease it to 5 volts it has decreased to 20 volts I'm going to turn it a little more So it is almost 5 volts, I can decrease it a little more, you can see it is fully 5 volts and now we can connect it to Arduino. So let's go and connect it to Arduino. So here we have got our the prototype board which we made last time back from the e-bike and now I'm going to add a DC to DC converter which is here to this board and I'm thinking to keep it here no I'm going to keep it here this is right I'm going to keep it here so that we can provide the uh, pos uh, 5 volt positive to the Arduino so let's begin the soldering so in the last clip you saw that we have uh, collaborated it and so in this I am going to mount it on the PCB using some glue and then we are going to test it after soldering some wires so let's so you can see this time lapse of soldering now
all the soldering has been done and here you can see it I have added I have also added a LED to indicate whether it is on or off and those you you don't know I also have a soft box now I made it and if you want to see a video on that also let me know in the comment section so let's mount it on the e-bike I have mounted it on the cycle and the whole wiring is going from this side vent to the DC converter and from that the power is distributed between this and this so let me complete this put on the lid and we will go and test it down So now I have uh, ditched the Arduino which you can see here and I have uh, used this Urdu Pilot flight controller and we are going to try it on the e-bike and test it whether it works or not. So first of all we have to calibrate it. So let's go to my computer and see the calibration process. So here we are in my computer so first of all you have to install a firmware which is the car firmware and then go to mandatory hardware and Excel calibration then calibrate Light the accelerometer and press any key. first of all you have to uh, first of all you have to keep it on a level surface and press any key I'm going to press face back. Place vehicle on its left side and press any key. Now I'm going Place to vehicle on its, on left, its side left side. And press any key. So you have to see this arrow and then place it on the left side and then press any key. Place vehicle on its right side and press any key. Then place, place it on, on right, right side. side and press any key. Place vehicle nose down and press any key. Nose down is the place arrow this nose side. Down and press any key. Input side. Put it like this and then press any key. Place vehicle nose up and press any key. Nose up is just the Place opposite. vehicle nose up and press any key. Place vehicle on its back and press any key. Back is place like vehicle this. on its back and press any key. Calibration successful. Now the calibration part is done and now we are going to compass and live compass calibration press ok and then you have to calibrate this compass by rotating it in all the directions so I am going to fast forward it now the compass calibration is completed and you can see it on the computer screen new offsets are set radio calibration I am going to do it afterwards servo calibration ESC calibration flight modes first flight mode I will do is manual and I am going to set it up last so first of all let us cal uh, calibrate this so for that I need to take the this receiver and put it on like this so now I have widened a little view now you can see a wider view of this and this goes in the first one which is channel number one with the orange side up and then you will see this LED blinking and afterwards I am going to just put the channel 3 which is the green wire 
into the channel 3 of the receiver so this is it and now i'm going to use the now i'm going to use this here and turn it on to push all the switches everything should be so it's done and it's turned on now we have to click on calibration ensure everything okay okay so the limits i'm going to just set for the throttle which you can see increasing in the in in the screen of the computer and no other if i uh, move any other stick it will not catch it because i have not connected it because i don't need it so this is done and now i think i have i am going to add one more part which is the switch which is the channel number which is the channel number 6 the gray wire to the channel number 6 of the receiver and then it will start catching up that also and for that i have to go on to this setup auxiliary channels then i have to select channel the uh, channel 6 as swa as swc so by so by pressing up key you can change it so it's at wc now long press cancel to save it you can check it it's this and now if i toggle the switch you can see radio 6 is changing so click done so we have to put the throttle in the down position and all this to be in the center position and press okay and done so here i have changed a little bit of setup you can see this is the whole setup now and i have used this urdu pilot flight controller for the for to control the rear motor which is that one and the whole wiring is going from this side and to control whether it is turned on or off i have mounted a switch so when i turn it on this turns on when i turn it off it turns off so let's put on the lid and go down for testing so now we are outside and let's let me show you how it works so this is the throttle and first of all we have to turn the bike on now the bike will automatically start moving after some time after initializing and when i give little more throttle the speed of the bike will actually increase significantly you can see the throttle is on the other side and i am just handling it i'm just controlling the handle of the e-bike 